or press 1 for yes and 2 for no. Thanks. Hi, thanks for calling O2. If you're calling from the number you want to talk to us about, say yes. If not, say no. No. Please now say or enter the contact number. Sorry, I didn't catch that. Say or enter the contact number connected to the account you're calling about. I got that as oh so is that right? Okay, I'm just pulling up your information now. I'm still gathering your information. Thanks for holding. I can't seem to pull up your information, sorry. Okay, I'm going to put you through to someone who can help. We're sorry, but our phone lines are busier than usual at the moment. We'll be with you as soon as we can, or why not visit o2.co.uk where you can see your previous build, upgrade and find our most frequently asked questions. No code. If... Okay. So now let's try something else. There seems to be a problem, so I can't find your security details. Sorry. I'll just put you through to someone who can help. Welcome to O2. Today from customer service. How can I help you today? Hello. Good afternoon. Can Hello. You... I'm okay, thank you. Yeah. Um. I, I'm. I imagine you're recording this call. Yes, we are. Okay. Just to let you know, I'm recording the call as well. But you didn't ask me for permission for recording me. No, I didn't. I'm. I'm informing you immediately after you have said hello that I'm recording this call. Okay. You're recording the call yes. at your end. I'm recording the call yes, at my end. Okay. I need you to please stay on the line for me. I just need to double check something with regards to that. I'm not, I don't think I'm okay with that. Okay, that's fine. But I, I will need to speak with somebody and I will be recording the call. So you, you'll need to get somebody else on. If, you, if you're unwilling to speak with me. Sure. I am willing to speak to you. I just need to double check if I can proceed with the call. Completely understand. Thank you. So I need you to please stay on the line for me, okay? Thank you. I see. I have spoken with your colleagues previously. I informed them that I was recording the call and they were happy to proceed. Why is this different? It's different because 
because we're dealing with a different person right now. Remember, there's policies we follow. Okay. On so please, agents, so please, so please pass me over. Please pass me over to one of your colleagues who will be happy to speak with me with the record recorded call at both ends. I mean, you are recording me, so it seems only reasonable I should be able to record so the conversation. And by law, we should be recording you. By law, we should be recording I don't wish to get into that argument with you. I'm simply saying you are recording this conversation at this end. I wish to record it too, and I wish to have the conversation with a representative of O2. So please pass me on to somebody. I'll put you back to the queue. Um, just on the line for me, please. Thank you. Thank you for calling. Thank you for calling. Oh, two years speaking to a shot. How can I help you? Hello there. Good afternoon. Yeah, I've got an issue that I need to talk to you about regarding an account. Um, before we talk about that, I understand that you will be recording this call at that end. Yes, yes. Uh, just to Absolutely. let you know, just to let you know that I am also recording the call at this end. Okay. Sure. Super. That's okay, great. Fine. So. Um, I've spoken to um, colleagues from O2 numbers of times over the past few months. Um, I have a, a real problem with an account that was set up by Virgin Media, um, and it appears to have been incorrectly set up. I don't believe I've ever received a SIM card or the account has ever been used. Um, you, you've had a lot of trouble validating me to talk to me. I've been into your O2 shop in Liverpool twice now. Um, and, and I have letters from a debt collection agency that O2 has handed a debt on to who are threatening me with court action. So I'm ringing uh, to really try very hard to get this resolved with you. Okay, okay. So sorry to know that. I'm sorry for the trouble and the inconvenience. Me Thank you. Yeah. I'll try my best uh, today to come to a resolution to you. Thank you. So um, you said, uh, uh, you did mention that it's, it's a Virgin Media account that has been set up, but you're not sure whether it was set up successfully or you don't have any SIM card for that uh, new account as well. Correct? Absolutely, yes. I, I was able, I, I, I've been, I've made numbers of phone calls to O2. I was directed to go to the shop. I've been to the shop. I have managed to obtain the mobile number from the shop, although, as I say, I don't actually have that SIM card, so I can't use that number. Can I, can I give you the number? Super duper. So that's. And are you the account holder? I am indeed. Okay, Mr. Lennon. Sent you to. Uh, I've sent you an email on your uh, uh, registered email. There will be a six digit security code onto your email. Can you please help me with that? Yep. I've got that email. Let me. You want me to read that out to you, yes? Yeah, just leave the numbers from that. So that's it's 082846. 082846. Yep, 082846. Yes. And can you help me with your house number? And the postcode? Okay, that's lovely. I got your account at fifth. Okay, so Mr. Lennon, I'm into your account now. Great. So as I can see that, yeah, so you have a, uh, let me just post check uh, the status of that number, whether if it is active or it is uh, inactive. Okay. okay. I can see your number is not, uh, it is disconnected. Yep. So it was disconnected on, I'll just tell you the date uh, when it was disconnected. Yep. It is no longer active now. This connection was taking place on 20, on the 11th of April, that was yesterday. Okay. Okay. Was it ever active? Yesterday, yeah. Yesterday, this connection was, the request was taken. And at the moment, your account is overdue uh, with an amount of £54.56. Yes. Which is your final bill. My point is that um, I don't yes. believe I've ever received a SIM card. Right, absolutely. Right. Can you uh, tell me when the last phone call was made on this number? If ever. Yeah, I'm just trying. Yeah, I'm, I'm, absolutely. I'm just trying to check the usages ever since you got the SIM. 
all you all you all, all, you, all, all the number was allocated to you. Thank you. Can you can you also give me the date when you think a SIM card was sent to me? Uh, sure. Yep. Uh, let me just check that. So you know you are, you are out of contract. This was uh, not under the contract, of course. Uh, I'm sorry, I don't, I don't understand that. What, what do you mean under the contract? Uh, you know, so uh, absolutely because your your uh, your con- number has been disconnected now, so you no longer stays in under the contract with us. Okay. Well, so, okay. Let's. When when, when did the, when when did when did this contract begin, please? Eighteenth of May. Okay, eighteenth of May, two thousand and twenty-three. It's a date when this contract actually started. Okay. And it was an 18 months contract. Okay. Yes. 18 months contract with two gigabyte internet, unlimited calls, and unlimited text. Yes. But since you are a you were you were a, a Virgin Media customer as well, you got you used to get additional two gigabytes so in a month, four gigabyte for yes. internet, unlimited calls, and unlimited text. You were supposed to get. And okay. The monthly bill uh, was supposed to be. I'll just check the previous bills as well because I can see that you you paid every bill on time. Okay. Yes, and I know. Every month there was a five pound of charges of yes. that bill. Okay, because of our active Virgin Media account. Yes. So when was it activated, please? This SIM card was activated on. It was uh, okay. Of course, I cannot see any usages on the bill. I'll just check. So just confirm for me. Well. Just confirm for me since. The 18th of May, there has never been any usage. Yeah, I'm just trying to find out that. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. <clears throat> no, so far I do not see any usages. That's correct. That's because the card was never received. Right. This is what I've been trying to say to O2 for a very long time. So you have been taking money out of my bank account for a service which has not been provided because I was never provided with a card. O2 would then not speak to me because you can't validate me because you can't text to this number because it's never been used because I don't have a SIM card. Also, your employee, when I went to the shop, confirmed for me that the person who set up the account put the wrong email address into the account. So you were also never able to email me a code. I have just had that fixed with your shop, which is how you were able to email me and how you are able to discuss the account with me. Because until today, bearing in mind that this began on the 18th of May, 2023, nobody at O2 has been willing to speak with me about this issue. So you can imagine how frustrating that is when you have been taking money out of my account every month. Now eventually, because nobody from U2, your O2, would speak to me, I cancelled the direct debit, which is why you have now sent that debt, the, the, the suggested debt, to a debt recovery agency who is threatening me with legal action. And I need somebody from O2 to confirm that the account was never activated because I've never used that SIM card because I never received that SIM card, that the email address you had for me was incorrect and that you have taken money from me for a service which was not provided and therefore which I will need refunded and also that you will deal with the debt recovery agency because should my credit rating be damaged and go to court, then I will be claiming damages. And I completely understand. I would like to work on this uh, for you, Mr. Leland. Thank you. Uh, the points that you're mentioning, it's absolutely valid. And uh, I can consider those points as well. Thank you. Uh, would you mind holding the line just for two or three minutes? I need to connect with one of the team in order to check what, uh, you know, what that can be done over here. Certainly. And just, just um, while you do that, could I ask your name, please? My name is Ishad. Ishad. Thank you, Ishad. That's much appreciated. Thank you. Ishad, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
holding this line, Mr. Lennon. Hello there. Hi. Uh, I, as I checked with uh, one of the team, Mr. Lennon, since this account was created, so you were aware, you were aware that, right, that there has been an that that has been an account created under your name with the number. Correct? This is the first so, time anybody from O2 has been willing to speak to me about this, and I have been calling for months. Until now, you had the wrong details for me. I had no SIM card. I had no way to validate myself. Nobody would validate me. I have raised a complaint, although that took an enormous amount of effort to do. I was initially told I couldn't record a complaint unless I was validated, which I think is nonsensical. I have finally raised the complaint, but have heard nothing more about that complaint. I've had to spend afternoons of my time going into your shop with my passport to manage to get yeah. them to understand that you had the wrong details for me. Now you have the right email for me, which is how you've been able to validate me. I'll reiterate, this is the very first time anybody from O2 has been willing to discuss this with me. The shop has said they wouldn't discuss um, the details of the account I had to call online. And I'm asking you to address the fact that you have been charging me for months and months and months and nobody has been willing to talk to me about the fact I haven't actually got a SIM card and I haven't actually ever been able to use that SIM card. Right. I, you, I you, can, you, can, you can understand how incredibly frustrating this is. You know, uh, you know Mr. Lennon, I, uh, I am just going through uh, all the uh, communication that you had ever since 29th of January 2024 with us. Yeah. So I can see that you, you've been with, in touch regarding this. Many uh, times. You know, uh, since about three, three months almost now. Many times. Right. Right. And I understand every time to reach out to us, it takes a couple of minutes sometimes. No, no, no. It takes me on average about 20 to 40 minutes to get through to somebody. 20 to 40 minutes. Yeah. That's quite a lot of my time I'm spending on this. And uh, I, I, I totally accept the fact as well that you never received the SIM card and you still got charged for it. Thank you. You, you accept that then, yeah? Yes. Thank you. Uh, but, but Mr. Lennon, when you bought this contract, when this contract was taken out, it, was, it wasn't it was taken out without your consent. And right after you taken you, this contract uh, was taken out, okay, I understand you never received the SIM, but ever since this contract was created, account was created, right, mm. when, when the... A new connection was placed on the account. Mm. Okay, if you haven't received the SIM for it, mm. you know, for a month or mm. for a two two months maybe, but uh, you were supposed to contact us on that time. I have been and contacting you over and over and over again, as your records show. Nobody would speak to yeah. me because I didn't yeah. have a SIM card. So when you texted yeah. the SIM card with the code, I couldn't receive the code. In addition, the person yeah. who set up the account put the wrong email address on the account so there was no way for me to validate with you yeah I totally understand that how how i have been trying to talk to somebody and every time your colleagues have said to me they would not talk to me because i couldn't validate they wouldn't pass me through to a manager there was nobody i could talk to there was nothing i could do and i have rung again and again and again, I was originally told yeah. my email system was at fault. I was told this was a problem with my end. Eventually, I discovered that that's not true, that in fact, you had the wrong email address, which was corrected. I had to spend an afternoon of my time, hundreds of pounds of my time addressing this because of the failing of O2. Now, if we talk about a contract, a contract is for a service. A contract is for O2 to provide me with a service. Given that I was not provided with a SIM card, there is no way that a service was being provided to me. I don't know why you would think it was activated because it wasn't activated because as you've said, it's never been used. So it shouldn't have been activated because there is a process that we have to go through to activate a SIM card. Do you agree? Take out a new connection. The SIM card that we sent out, 
that is already an active SIM card. Well, you shouldn't do that because you didn't send me a SIM card. The point about activating a SIM card is that when I receive it, I'm receiving the service and I activate the SIM card. I did not receive the SIM card. I have not had a service. Therefore, I require my money back. I understand Mr. Lennon, but uh, no, I'm just trying to tell you that uh, when this contract was started and you realized that you never received a SIM for it, yeah. so you should have contacted us. I have done, have many times, uh, over and over and over and over again. Interactions on our system. I'm, I'm, I'm reiterating yeah. to you, and I'm, I'm being polite, but I shouldn't have to say this again. You have the records that show I have been contacting you many times. Your people wouldn't validate me or talk to me. I've raised the complaint. It hasn't been addressed. This is not good enough. Okay? So I'm going to require you to refund the money. And if you don't, then I'm going to take out a small claims court case in Northampton Court to publicize the way I've been treated by O2. Okay? Okay. It is. Now, more importantly, more importantly, there is a discussion about the monies that are owed to me. But the more important discussion is that O2, or in fact Telefonica O2, has instructed a debt recovery agency to recover a debt from me for a service which I've never received. And I wish you to speak with them and to ensure that they do not continue to chase me because if this goes to court it's going to be extremely embarrassing for O2 given that as you have identified and accepted I didn't receive a SIM card from you I've never used the number in question and I have been completely unable to talk to anybody at O2 for months and months and months because I don't have a SIM card and because you had the wrong email address for me okay can I give you the details of the debt recovery agency for you to talk to to ensure that they do not pursue a claim against me? Uh, that's okay. I got that already with, uh, over here in my system. I can see that. Brilliant. Can you confirm the details to me then, please, so that we know that we've got the right details here? Because I do not want a, a county court judgment against me. I do not want my credit rating to be damaged. This would be a really big problem for me. Yeah. Is that from Moorcroft? It is from Moorcroft, yeah. Yeah, okay. I'm on the same page with you. Super, so, thank you. Yeah. So, so the immediate thing, so, before we talk about any other compensation, can you confirm uh -huh. to me that you or a colleague will speak with Moorcroft and you will put a stop to this and that they will no longer be chasing me for a debt? Yep. Yep. I'll try my best, Miss Lennon, to get you a resolution. Okay. I think to be very transparent. You know, in, in such situations, uh, a refund or a credit is not possible. Yes, well, that's a, that's a separate uh, issue. That We will deal with that separately. Yes. I will We will deal with that perhaps through a small claims court case. But what I require is that the debt recovery, recovery agency, uh, you can confirm to me they will no longer be chasing me and threatening me no. with court action. Yeah, no, no. I will be uh, first checking with one of the team and I can definitely reassure about that and give you a confirmation that you require on this recorded line. Thank you. Uh, okay, Mr. Lennon, because I just don't want to make any false promises, Mr. Lennon. And, I, and I, do, I do appreciate that. I do appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah. Yes. Thank you so much, Mr. Lennon. Okay. So, uh, uh, please give me a chance so that, you know, I can uh, work on this and uh, try, to, try to get in touch with managers and, you know, the level that I can approach. To, uh, okay. Come to a resolution for you so, so that it does not end up, you know, on a bad note. Absolutely. You, you could, I mean, you can, you could, you, yeah. you, you, you would be upset too if you were in the situation. I mean, I'm sure. Um, uh, when, absolutely. when will somebody be able to confirm that to me, please? Yes, of course. So I will ensure that you know I get you the resolution right over this call. Oh, great. Lennon. Okay. And uh, with regards to the debt collection, uh, you no need to worry about that. I understand it is quite upsetting and disappointing as well. Yes. When when you receive any such debt connection notes or anything, okay? so uh, of, of, especially for the one who never received it. Yeah, it's so, it's infuriating. Yeah. It's absolutely infuriating. Right. This is. Yeah. Um, I'm sure it's different. Yeah, you know, I know it's not your fault. But your computer yeah. systems are not working. If your customers can't contact people to talk about these kinds of really serious issues, 
for months, and this results in a debt collection agency being involved, your systems are not working. And somebody more senior really needs to look at this stuff because it's, I have wasted hours and hours and hours of my life trying to find somebody like you to talk to to get this resolved. Yeah. Completely understand, Mr. Lynn, and don't worry, okay? But I'll try my best uh, to come up with a resolution uh, today. And also, uh, so, yep, of course, yep, I can see that. You have an, uh, so you, do you still got an active account with Virgin Media? Uh, yep. Yeah, that's all. That's all fine. I mean, my mistake was ever allowing Virgin Media to set up an O2 account, and that will never happen again. Right. Um, Virgin Media is is fine. Um, there is another question I have while we're on, please. Um, after many, many phone calls, I was finally able to get one of your colleagues to open a complaint. I have the complaint number before me. Nobody has contacted me about that complaint. Could I give you the number and could you tell me what the progress has been on that complaint, please? Uh, yes, of course. Okay, thanks a lot. Uh, well, the number that you have shared with me is actually the number that you have shared with me. I do not see any uh, complaints uh, open over here. Oh. On, I see. On, on to this, this number. Yep. Well, I don't know. It was it was it was opened. It was opened as an anonymous O2 complaint on the second of April. Oh, it was an anonymous complaint. Because unable to validate you. that you you're seeing the problem here. This is the problem. Yes, yeah. exactly. Okay. Thank you so much for helping me out with the complaint number and. Uh, uh, let me just try and check if I'm able to pull up any details for this anonymous complaint. Thank you. Yep. Uh, at the same time, I will be connecting with uh, with the supervisors, okay, to uh, uh, just to uh, get a get a perfect resolution for you over this call. Thank you. I really appreciate that. You're welcome. Uh, before before I go ahead and check, uh, do you have any active O2 account or any active O2 number? Um, I don't think so. No, no, I don't think so. No. Okay. Uh, okay. So the number that you're calling from is that from a different service provider? It is indeed. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Not problem, Mr. Lennon. Okay. So, all right. I'll just go ahead without taking your time further. Would you mind holding the line for a few minutes? Uh, yeah. Sure. Yeah. Thank you.
Communications and Holding This Line, Mr. Lennon. Hello again. Yeah, hi. Mr. Lennon, I'm still trying my best to uh, come up with a resolution for you. Okay. And it can take up to a few, few more minutes. Is that okay for you to hold yep. the Yep, yep, sure. Thank you. You're welcome. Hmm. That may be the first time you have on your records, but it's entirely likely okay. that you don't have records beforehand, again, because you weren't validating me, if you see what I mean. Hmm. Yep, yep. Okay, so uh, when was the first time you approached O2, uh, you know, for this problem? It will have been a month or two after the contract was taken out, when I realized that I was being billed for a service I wasn't receiving. Hmm. Yep. Um, okay, I understand. So. Uh, have you not, uh, you know, tried uh, uh, visiting to the auto store? Yeah, you know, been, I've been to the store twice now. Now, each afternoon that I go to the O2 store, that costs me about £250. And it was only when I went to the O2 store that I was able to identify myself with a passport. And the very helpful young lady went through the same problem with your services on the phone. And eventually they gave her a special code which allowed us to get in to see that somebody, presumably the Virgin Media person who set up the account, had entered an incorrect email address, which is why I wasn't receiving any correspondence from O2. Yeah. Completely understand, Mr. Lennon. Uh, but you know, as I said initially, that you know, in this case, the refund won't be possible, but I can do one best thing for you. Mr. Well, that's fine, because I... Well, okay, what, is, what can you do for me? At present, you got a debt collection recovery uh, note, right, for yeah. an amount of fifty-four pound and fifty-six pence, which is currently outstanding. I don't know how much it is, but it's it presumably yeah, is going up because they they seem to keep adding charges, which of course I won't be paying. Yeah. Right. So this this uh, this includes a cost of uh, early termination as well, because there was a disconnection requested from you by you. No, there wasn't. Uh, before the contract. No, there wasn't. The no, there yeah. wasn't. Um, I stopped paying because I haven't received a SIM card and wasn't receiving a service, and nobody at O2 would yeah. talk to me about it. Yeah. And I, ex I expected at that point, to sorry to talk over you, but I expected at that point somebody sensible at O2 to contact me. 
but you didn't. Instead, O2 put a debt collection agency onto me. that Mr. Lennon. So uh, let me just give you the breakup of the last and the termination bill which you got. It is uh, it is due for £54.50. Let, let's be very clear. You are not receiving a penny from me. Let's be really clear about that. Good, good. Because that's not going to happen. Yeah, neither I'm forcing you to pay this Mr. Lennon. So yes. what I'm going to be doing right now is I'm going to be applying a credit on this uh, of this amount of £54.56. Okay. This is the best, you know, what uh, I can do for you, Mr. Lennon. That's appreciated. I'm on a long conversation with with the managers to uh, take this decision. Yeah. So this is the best what I can do to waive off these charges by applying a credit on your account for mm -hmm. the same amount the bill is being generated. Yeah. Fifty four pound and fifty six pence. So that's and helpful. And, and does that mean that, uh, that means that the debt collection you will be contacting the debt collection agency and they will not be pursuing um, me? They won't be sending you any further notices. Okay, to, uh, well that helps. That helps. So I appreciate that. So, what I will say to you is that as a minimum, you agree, you have known, or O2 has known, that I have been trying to resolve this with O2 since January, and you have been taking my money. Yeah. So unless that money is refunded, January, I will be going to small claims court to recover that and my costs and any incidental expenses. Okay, I'm just letting you know that. Yep. Yeah, absolutely. That is your right, Mr. Yep, Lennon. it is if indeed. If you want yeah. uh, us to raise a complaint on, on, on that matter, I can absolutely raise a complaint for you. Well, I mean, if I have raised the complaint. We complaint, Have you found the complaint that I raised? Uh, you know, unfortunately, I'm unable to uh, track the I uh, see. details about that complaint. Of course, our complaints team will be able to do that because this was lodged under the anonymous ticket. That is the reason I cannot right. uh, well, that status of the complaint right now. Now that so, so thank you for confirming that credit. Thank you for confirming there will be no uh, legal action against me. Uh, thank you for your apology. Yeah. Um, I would now like to raise a complaint as, as a complaint from me, complaining about the shocking level of service I have received since last year. Understand, Miss Lane. That's that's completely your right. Uh, uh, I won't. Uh, if it, if I was at your place, I would appeal the same as you do. Yeah, I mean, and and I, I'll say again. I know it's not your fault, but this is shocking yeah. and ridiculous, and has cost me uh, literally days of my time trying to deal with this, which should be a very very simple problem to resolve. Yeah. I completely understand. Mr. Lennon, if you can just give us a chance or, you know, a complaint team member to look into, sure. to look into yeah, this sure. so that you don't have to approach any calls or anything. Sure. You know, because it, it's well, that would be preferable. Yeah. It's better if you can just, yeah, Absolutely. You can just allow us some more time. Uh, we will work upon it and our complaint team will definitely work upon it uh, to check, you know, what best can be done. Absolutely. So can you... I really can you... Want you to no, no, I know, I know. Well, I, I don't want to either. I don't want to, because it will take another load of my time. But equally, you know, I'm not yeah. at all happy with the position of O2, with the way I've been treated, with the threats of legal action, with the debt incurred for a service I've never received, and with the complete inability of anybody within this organization to actually talk to me. It's been quite shocking. Can you just give me that complaint number then, please? Oh, give me one second. There's somebody at the door. I'll be back in a second. Thanks. Yep, take your time. It's going to take a few minutes because I'm just uh, documenting a few things over here. Hello, back again. Yeah. Hi. Mr. Lennon, I, uh, I just want to tell you, Mr. Lennon, I can either uh, raise a credit of £54.56 and 56 pence for you, yep. which is the termination bill, yep. or, or I can either raise a complaint on this. So no, you can do both. You cannot do both you know, simultaneously. Uh, oh, well, I think you can. Simultaneously. Or if you can leave this decision on the complaints team, you know, if they can do something better. Oh, I see. I see what you mean. Okay. Um. Well, you know, I think I think I think given this phone call and that is recorded, um, I feel fairly confident that 
your assertions that there won't be any legal action uh, is the case because that is going to look very stupid in court if there is any legal action. So can you pass this along to the complaints team as a matter of urgency for them to resolve, please? Um, as, as a minimum, I expect the monies that have been taken from me to be refunded, given that I never received a service. Um, and I would also expect some kind of um, compensation on the understanding that I have wasted an enormous amount of my time and energy trying to get through your failing system to resolve this and have been threatened with legal action, which is not something that I take lightly. As of now, I'm not raising any credit, okay? Okay. So, let's just uh, uh, leave this on the campaign team member. Um, of course, I'm going to be mentioning everything on details, what I have promised to you. Thank you. Uh, about the credit. Um, because raising a complaint uh, won't allow me to raise any credit. For I, again, you know, so I think that... To leave this decision on the campaign team. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not criticizing you as ever, you know. Your whole computer system at O2 seems fundamentally broken. That's not your fault. But again, that you can see that it's simply not delivering what your customers need. But if you could just give me that complaint number and then, you know, I've now been on with you for going on about 50 minutes, I think. So I'm sure we're both quite worn out by this. Um, if you could just raise that complaint, give me the number. That would be fantastic. Thanks. Sure, Mr. Lynn, just confirming that so as of now, I'm, I'm not going to raise a credit as uh, you wish to take this further to the complaint. I do. Okay? Yeah, yeah. All right, Mr. Lennon, so yeah, just give me two more minutes uh, because uh, I just documented everything and uh, at the last I will be giving you the complaint number. Fantastic, okay. thank you. Yeah. Please don't mind me for the awkward silence, I'm just placing you on mute. Sure okay. thing, sure thing, yeah. Thank you.
thank you for your patience, Mr. Lennon. And uh-huh. the complete number, absolutely right. Thank you. And when can I expect somebody okay, to be I'm in touch? I'm to give you an email of our complaint team, which is Complaint Review Service. Complaint Review Service. Is that all one word, yeah? At yeah, that's all, all one word. That's photo.com. That's fantastic. Thank you. So, so somebody will be in touch with me about this as soon as possible, will they? As soon as, soon as possible. Uh, the, the turnaround time for the complaints to get resolved is up to 30 working days. But oh. since this is an ongoing issue, I've also uh, uh, mentioned about the previous complaint that was still not resolved. Yep. Under this complaint. So yep. uh, we'll try to get you uh, the resolution as quick as we can. Thank you. Well, I appreciate that. Thank you very much for your time and thank thank you for your help trying to get this resolved. It's been really very frustrating. You're welcome, Mr. Lehman. And just uh, just to uh, set an expectation, uh, Mr. Lehman, you may receive the debt collection recovery, uh, you know, the notification from the more group yep. uh, again, unless and unless or until this complaint is not resolved. But yep. don't need to worry okay. because we, we are aware that there is a complaint which is ongoing under the progress. Yep. So don't need to worry, you can ignore those uh, uh, that notes. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much then, and you have a good day. You too, have a good day. All the thank best. You. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.